You're in the mix with Battle and the Gang on American Lunchbox Podcast. This case where we have Trump, who seems to have fallen out of favor. In this case, it's it, it, it's easy for the QAnons to say that Trump is against all of uh, these people. Uh, the reality is a little more mucky here with this current situation, which is Trump was actually cool with a lot of that stuff but openly talked about it in a way that made it unflattering or ugly. So if it's the case that this group of people can control who their front man is, then the president as a PR role needed to shift to someone a little more calm and easygoing and pleasant to look at. And so, so Chris, if I'm hearing you correctly, watch this hand while this hand does the work. Keep your eye up here. 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 All right, up, oh. up. Oh. You see, now, for those of you all who are in podcast land, I'm waving one hand and I'm brandishing the middle finger in the other because that is exactly, that, that is exactly what, <laughs> what, pe what people do when they want something you to pay attention to something else so giuliani could be just a just a front man while there's someone in the background doing the work of the distinguished gentleman doing the work well, of the person I, who actually I'm, I'm glad chris brought up the whole thing about you know solving a mystery and solving you know this could be the orient you know, the thing about the orient express and that's another thing that they kind of um props up conspiracy theories is that you have a group of people that think that they're uh that they're going to solve a mystery that they're, they're they're the only ones in the know that they that they somehow have figured it all out that it's like oh all you little sheep right. out there you guys you guys are just listening to the media and the mainstream it's like i've sat there and put the clues together and and i think that's another thing that kind of really contributes to um uh, to conspiracy theories is that is that they, they feel that people feel that they're solving a mystery and that there's a good and people love a good story i mean i think storytelling i think is just innate in our in our in our in our psyche it's it's just kind of hardwired. I think we're hardwired to believe some of these things. And it's like, it's, we're not so hardwired to believe the simple explanation. It can't be that simple. It's got to be a big government conspiracy. And I'll give you, I'll give you even just forgetting about the, right. the conspiracy theory. I'll give you a better example. Just on a, on a personal level, me, you, and uh, both me and Chris, I think have, have battled back and forth with the, uh, with the, uh, the battle of the bulge. As we, as you would say, uh, over the years, um, I think I'm, three... wi I'm winning. <laughs> exactly, um, Chris. You knew me three years ago. Um, you saw how much weight I was losing left and right. Um, people, oh, oh, god, I was okay. losing a ton. <laughs> yeah, but the um... <laughs> I know where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I was three years ago. I think I lost a good, a good fifty uh, pounds. Chris thought you were talking up. Okay, go ahead. Okay, but but I, you know, I've since gained a lot of it back. But the number one thing I would get all the time at work from a lot of my coworkers was, Tim, how did you do it? What's your secret? That was like the number one thing I would always get from people, and. What they were looking for, they were looking for a, uh, a, a, a magical pill. They were looking for the magical answer. They wanted me to sit there and say, oh, dude, I've totally discovered the secret. It's, you know, don't eat Skippy peanut butter or something. It's got some enzyme in it that's, that's going to make you fat, you know, or some shit, you know. But the reality was it was diet and exercise. I mean, that's that's it at the end of the day. That's the short, that's the short, simple answer. Um, I've, you know, I've, I, I've kind of battled trying to find that good mix between good diet and, and enough exercise. And, you know, I'm, lo I'm losing it right now myself, but, you know, I think that's, I think that's another thing that, like I said, that drives conspiracy theories is that people just have a hard time accepting the, a the answer, especially if it's something really complicated, like COVID or something where it's like, you know, uh, it's it's a complicated thing. Why why is it spreading, or why or or what the best or but what the best solution is, or how to come up with a with a good vaccine? It's a complicated issue, and people don't want to people don't want to rack their brains around that. They want it. They want a, a, a an easy answer. Oh, they can rack their brains around the fact that it's oh it's the five G that's uh, that, that that that's doing it, or it's the China th you know, thing, or or somebody's you know you know somebody's weaponizing it or whatever. I can rack my brain around that, but I can't rack my brain around science. It's hard. That's a great point, is that uh, random information is scarier than a consistent narrative, even if it's one that the narrative is we're getting screwed. I, I would say to the Trump people that, you know, when you guys were going to uh, Baltimore and cleaning up the streets of these Democratic-run shitty areas and uh, doing it with your MAGA hat on and a smile, that was a good look. The QAnon is not a good look. 
So if the goal is over the next four years to uh, get everyone on the Trump train, the reality of the situation at some point probably has to set in, regardless of what you might think on the inside. That's not me saying F you. That's me seeing, saying got to run some new plays. Fair enough. And maybe run some plays that are planned instead of always being in the two-minute offense, Trump. <laughs> because the two-minute offense is how you get into, like, fourth and 47. And there was no reason to be like that in the first quarter. So if Trump also wants to make a comeback, he's going to have to evolve. And what he's doing right now, like today, doing a one-minute press conference, that's cool. But... <laughs> It's like shaping up to get the girl back after you guys broke up. <laughs> she moved on, dude. Like, it would have been cool if you acted like this a little bit in the last four years. <laughs> it would have been, you know, it's great that you're doing it now. Wow. But, hey, man. Um, yeah. Fourth and four and 46. You must be a Jets fan. Uh, but anyway. Oh, that's uh, true. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, perfect season so far. Yeah. Oh, and uh, 10? Yeah, zero and ten. The Jets. We man. even lost some close ones, so it, it was in danger of getting a win for a while. But uh, we found I mean, a way I, to blow it. The Jets and I have won the same amount of games, not having played a game yet.